Brooklyn Bridge! Ah, ah. me, God, is a mini oh. oh. Hi guys, uh, I'm happy to be with you again. You know, today is not a great day for me. I'm telling you now because I don't feel really well. I'm cramping and there is blood coming out now as I'm telling you. This is why I wanted to update you about this. Yeah, but you know, what can I do? We need to be positive and we need to keep, you know, our faith and keep believing. This is what we can do. So what it is, it, it's like uh, since last Wednesday, December 18th, I started to have really, really, really bad cramps. And then on Thursday, which is two days ago, because I'm filming this on Saturday, on Thursday, I had, um, I started from spotting to light pink blood, and then from that to red blood, like a period. So I said, okay, I'm not going to stay home. I'm just going to go to the ER so they can tell me what is going on because I knew ahead that it was too early. They, they was not going to be able to see nothing because when you're that early, they always tell you the same thing. I know that. That happened to me once, and but I hear people saying this all the time. They can't see anything, so they're just going to test you know to see if you're pregnant and then send you home for your body to do what it has to do because they they always say that not all bleeding means miscarriage but it's not normal to bleed during pregnancy that's not normal we all know that so now this is what it is about i was i'm cramping i'm still cramping and i am bleeding I don't pass any clots or stuff like that I don't but I do have cramps I went to the ER they, they, they can't confirm anything they just confirm the pregnancy they took the pregnancy test they see that I am still pregnant this is all they can see but you know it's very early they can't see they could not see nothing you know on the ultrasound so it's the same thing I just need to wait I, I have an appointment you know and then I'm just gonna go and up in two weeks to see what is really going on now. guys so this is what it is about now you know honestly I'm telling you Pregnancy is not easy as uh, it used to be for me. Like before, oh my God, it was so easy. I tried, I just test only once and then I see that I'm pregnant. I call my doctor, I make an appointment and then easy, nine months and I give birth to full term baby, very easy, natural birth without like even pain medicine. Like all natural always i have all four kids naturally natural delivery without pain medicine always go like that it's painful but this is the way it is always for me but now i see that things has changed honestly i don't know what is going on to my body but it's not as easy as it used to be two months ago i had a very early miscarriage and now I was not even really focused on trying, but you know, I didn't have no precaution also. I and I ended up being pregnant. We all saw all my positive digital and pregnancy tests. We all people who was following me, you all saw that. I'm sorry guys. So but this is what it is now. I'm I don't know, I'm cramping and I'm bleeding. I'm still pregnant, but this is not normal to me. I don't know if the worst is coming. I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on. I'm just waiting now, guys. And also, what I wanted to add, this is something, this is something real for me. Before I started to bleed, I didn't have no pregnancy symptom at all, not at all. I felt like a normal person who's not pregnant, like anybody. But I think since Thursday that I started to bleed, this is when I started also to feel stuff like nausea. I also felt tired that I needed to sleep all the time. Not all the time, but tired, like overtired. And also, what I also felt, it's like um, back pain. I don't know if it's because, you know, of course, I'm bleeding and I have cramping. But it's like, now I feel pregnant. You know? I don't know what is going on to my body. I don't know what does that mean. I don't know. But now, I started to feel pregnant. All my symptoms, are, you know, has started. Yeah, guys. So this is the update. I'm trying to rest as much as I can. This is what I'm doing now. Like, I'm laying on the couch, waiting. Like, I do have to do stuff. You know, I have four kids and I have a two years old. Um, but I try to rest as much as I can. And what I wanted to, tell, to say also, I'm telling you honestly, I understand the ladies out there now who's trying for the first time how they feel when you confirm the pregnancy and then days after you lost the baby or you start to bleed, to bleed. This is crazy because before it was not like that for me. Everything was very easy as I said, but now, you know, it is it's a different story. And for people who doesn't know and for people who doesn't know I have a two years old toddler. He turned two in July, so he's let me see. Yeah, he's two years old and a few months. August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, he's almost two and a half. He's almost two and a half now. And during those two years, my body has changed. Like I don't know what is going on now, but. I'm not the same person, you know, things change. Um, you, for you out there who's trying to conceive or who's trying to have a kid, to have a baby for the first time, don't think like you're not healthy. And don't think that, oh, it's because I'm not healthy or it's because I'm doing something wrong that I can get pregnant. It's not the case. It is not the case. You know, because look at me, I have four kids for healthy pregnancy and now you know, I'm trying and I can. Maybe something changed. That doesn't mean that you're not a healthy person or you're doing something wrong. You know, I don't drink. I don't, I don't smoke. I live a simple life, you know, and look at me. So this is just not your time. You know, don't lose hope. Don't think that you can't because I had four before. I had four kids before and look at me now. So this is the way it is. And for you out there who's just like me, who has kids before, you know, maybe you're not trying anymore and you got like four easy pregnancies or five or six, whatever. You know, you need to be thankful and grateful to God because when you see that you have healthy babies, don't take it for granted. No, don't take it for granted. Look at them and be grateful. Be be thankful. Because it is not because you're the best person. It is not because you're the healthiest person. But it is just because you're blessed. It's just a blessing. It's just a favor. Like me, 
if I was not trying anymore, I would never know that that would ever happen to me. I would just take it, oh, it's normal. Like, you try to get pregnant, you're pregnant, you have the baby. But it's not easy. It's not as easy for everybody. You understand what I mean, guys? So you need to be thankful and grateful. Don't take it for granted. You know? So... Guys, I don't want to talk too much because I don't want to make long videos, guys. So I just wanted to update you because I felt like I felt like you needed to know. I don't know what the end of the story is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to end up having a healthy pregnancy. I don't know if I'm going to lose the baby. I don't know. But the only thing like I can think now, if I do... If I do, you know, have a miscarriage in a few days, I don't know what I'm gonna, what I have in plan because I gained some extra pound now. I am um, 188. I gained a lot of pounds. I said that I'm gonna take a break and try to see if I can lose, if I can if I can lose some weight guys this is what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do for maybe two or three months and then start again on the trying to conceive thing because you know I do need the girl you all know guys who's watching me that I have four boys I have four boys I really need I really I, I really want a baby girl before I get too old <laughs> I want to try and see if I can get um the girl i don't know if if god if it's god's will i don't know but this, i'm gonna try and then so guys uh, this is exactly what i'm gonna do i don't know if you're gonna be watching me because a lot of you you subscribe because of the pregnancy thing but i'm i'm i do gonna try again you know maybe in february because I, I was born in November. Maybe I can wait to see if my baby can be born in November also. But meanwhile, what I have in plan is go to gym and get a healthy diet and try to see if I can lose at least 30, 40 pounds in, a, in two months. You know, because I am two, three months maybe. Like, I'm not going to exaggerate like in one, two, two months. But I'm going to try to see if I can lose few pounds because I'm, I'm getting big guys i'm 188 now meanwhile this is what i'm gonna do if i if i'm not pregnant this month i'm just gonna start to go to gym and start to eat healthier try to follow a diet or something to lose some extra pounds that i've gained this is what i'm gonna do um so guys you can still follow me like during this break because I'm gonna take a break guys because if I have two early loss back to back maybe my body's not ready for that I'm just gonna take a break if if because I don't know yet if I'm gonna lose a baby but if I'm gonna lose a baby if I'm not gonna have a healthy pregnancy this is what I'm gonna do I I, I already have uh, my fitness pal because I had the plan also you know to to eat healthy and to cook healthier so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, for two or three months, I'm gonna try to live a healthy life. You know, I wanna change also because honestly, I'm I don't really care about what I'm eating. I don't really care about what time I'm eating. You know, I just go natural. I not just, but I wanna take care more of my hair, my body. Of myself because I'm gaining weight I'm losing hair so you see when you're a mom of four you're like you don't have time for yourself you don't really have time to take care of yourself really well because you're so busy all the time so this is 2020 if I'm not gonna have the baby I'm just gonna take a break in the beginning of the year to see if I can be myself if I can change I'm gonna change for good you know <laughs> and then guys i'm gonna try again because i do want the baby i'm not gonna lose like faith maybe it's not my time yet i don't know but i do want the baby guys i'm gonna still try 
but maybe guys you can go to the healthy journey with me you can give me your advice what i can do also if i'm not pregnant to lose some weight i'm gonna do my research also this is what i'm gonna do guys if i'm not gonna have the baby now this is exactly what i'm gonna do for a few months and then maybe i'm gonna be healthier and i'm gonna feel better i'm gonna lose some weight and then maybe i can carry a baby that's not the problem, I know, because I'm not that big, but, you know, this is the plan. Give my body a break, because that's going to be two miscarriages back to back. So I'm going to give my body a break, like eat healthy, live healthy, go to gym and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, lose some extra pound, because I'm 188. It is a big number for me. This is a really big number for me. So I'm going to try to lose extra pounds, guys. Let me know what do you think, guys. You know, I wanted to update you and I will let you know. I will let you know, guys. I will let you know. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that you're spending the time with me, guys. I really appreciate that. You have so much to do, but you're watching me. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.